I don't have any predetermined thoughts about how anybody might perceive the pieces. There are as many different ways of seeing them as there are people that do see them. I've worked with glass for a long time, but only recently have I worked with laminated glass. I found it necessary to change it by trying to coat it by, by putting the, the films on it that started to change the way the light is either reflected, transmitted, or uh, absorbed. It was kind of a competitive thing in the scene I was in. I thought that the, the small cubes that I was working on were uh, not playing in the same league as these people that were opening up their sculptures to be bigger than human size. I decided to dissect the cubes. Twelve right angles is what makes up the cube, and we just opened it up. This piece is the first where we've taken the eight-foot dimension and put it upright. This is the first one. After all these years, you might say it. At 82, I'm finally reaching up. <laughs> I like to look at them big, but there's no way I could physically have the freedom to do what I want if I couldn't make them small also to see what it is I'm doing. But I like the feeling of that the piece is actually floating. It's the feeling of the light passing through the underside of the sculpture that's holding the sculpture up. I just like the feelings that they give. It's more a sensuous, absorbing feeling, you know, and um, that's what I do.